Hey, Chad German here. Today I'm going to go over with you some concepts that a lot of guys as I teach uh, in consulting with continuing education classes or in general at the apprenticeship program here at uh, the college I teach at um, or in, in general when I talk with electricians there's a bis big misunderstanding or um, there's people that just don't understand this quite well and it can really cause some dismay in, in your understanding of the National Electrical Code or in electrical in general and that's what a branch circuit and a feeder is. So you have to go to Article 100 in the National Electrical Code and a branch circuit is what we do 90% of the time on a job and that would be any of the loads that you feed that the, the definition in Article 100 what it says is from the the last overcurrent protection device um, to the load would be your branch circuit. A feeder is going to be in between panels or to a separately derived system um, and they feed those I hate that word feed because elect, uh, amperage is pulled, right? Um, so let's look at this real quick. Here's a good example. This is my uh, uh, DT amp, which doesn't matter. Most of the jobs I've been on have been called uh, MDT. But this panel here has breakers that feed, that, that protect other panels, okay? And these are not the last overcurrent protection device because they feed panels like this one here. This is the... Uh, MC panel that have overcurrent protection in them, okay? So the, the conductors that go between this panel and this panel would be considered feeders, okay? Now, that is the definition in Article 100. A branch circuit is from the last overcurrent protection device to the load. So as you can see, this is not the last overcurrent protection device because it feeds this panel, and then this panel then goes and feeds the load. So that makes these breakers here the last overcurrent protection device, and it makes these conductors or these circuits that lead here up in these pipes um, out to the, uh, the load, those would be the branch circuits. So as long as you can understand the difference between a feeder and a branch circuit, you can really start to understand the National Electrical Code and what you're working on in general as you discuss or um, try to figure out some electrical problems of your own. I hope that really helps you guys. And, um, uh, yeah.